Um, now I wanted to move on to nonfiction. So sometimes parents think their kids don't enjoy reading, but they really just have a hard time getting into the stories. They like facts. Um, they like books about the subject that interests them, whether it be science, um, engineering, math. Um, so we have lots and lots of books um, for all ages. So I wanted to start off um, with two different alphabet books. So this one is super interesting. It's the alphabet of peculiar creatures. So, you know, your normal alphabet is C is for cat, D is for dog. Um, these are all different. They're all real animals with tons of facts about these animals. So C is for, it has you, it tells you how to pronounce it, caracal. These wild cats are found in Africa and parts of Asia. They can jump into the air um, and knock down 10 birds in mid-flight. So tons of really interesting facts um, in it as well. So I just think this book is super cool and interesting. Um, similarly, um, we have uh, the big book of ABC by Usborne. This has um, each letter dedicated to uh, a letter or each page dedicated to a letter of the alphabet. Um, they use a lot of alliteration, which is really great for learning your letter sounds. So an angry alligator, uh, Aunt Anna's asparagus. And as you can see, the illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. So absolutely wonderful for learning your alphabet, um, learning your letter sounds, learning the order of the alphabet. It has big and little letters in there. So I think this book is absolutely beautiful. That's big book of ABC. Um, next I wanted to show you one of our really cool new nature pop-ups. So this is on the mountain. Uh, we also have a uh, Savannah version um, and these pop-ups are so pretty. They also have some like moving parts to them which I think is really neat. Great for learning. I love this tumbling bear one. Super cute. Learning all about different animals that live on the mountain. So this one is uh, on the mountain pop-up book. Um, now and then, super great introduction um, sort of, of history um, and different cultures and different places for uh, children. So um, it compares different, um, so it has, a, it'll have the subject. So getting around and what getting around has looked like over the years, um, different places. So getting around by train, what that looked like, traveling by road, what that looked like then and then now. Lots of really interesting facts about different cultures and countries. Um, so kind of a great uh, history book for um, elementary aged children. Another great history book for just a little bit older um, is The History of the World in 100 Pictures. Um, this is great kind of snapshot um, snapshot of the history of the world um, and it tells it through different pictures and items. So um, list out 100 things and then a little bit about each object um, and what time in history it represents. Um, so I just think that, uh, I, I love having access to so many cool historical photos in one book. So this would be great for any kids in your life that really love history um, or even art. Um, so those are all the nonfiction I wanted to show you. Um, we have tons of subjects, math, music, um, cooking. So anything that your child is interested in, um, we probably have a book for that.